This is Dr. Shannon Wong. I'm going to present a case of Intax using the Intralase Femtosecond Laser for the treatment of keratoconus. This is a 25-year-old individual whose refraction is at the upper left corner and she has reduced best corrected vision of 2070. Our goal is to place Intax oriented at the 45 degree axis. There's going to be two 450 micron segments inserted and we're going to start the case. We've pre-marked the patient at 0 and 180 sitting upright and then we've used an axis marker to mark the 45 degree axis. I then use a optical zone marker to create a centration mark on the geometric center of the cornea. This patient has received 10 milligrams of Valium and has received topical propercane eye drops for anesthetic. Once we've created the mark, we uh, apply the intralase ring. I'm going to show the intralase laser settings an inner diameter of 6.8, outer diameter of 8.0, and the energy settings as shown. All these incisions are at the 400 micron depth. Here we apply the intralase cone. Verify centration. And then begin. This is a 60 kilohertz intralase, and it takes approximately 30 seconds for the intrastromal tunnels to be created. The final aspects of the treatment are at 45 degrees where you see the side cut coming up to the surface. We then position the patient underneath our PhysX Axamer laser to use the improved microscope of that instrument. We then use a symmetric glide to open the tunnel at the uh, surface incision. This is the first case of Intax using the femtosecond laser in my personal experience. So the uh, amount of time it takes to perform this procedure is probably longer than it would be um, after we've had more experience. But uh, the symmetric glide fits nicely into the tunnels created by the intralace laser. What makes this a little challenging is I am not fixating the globe. So as I insert the glide, the eye does torque away from me somewhat. Now we take our first 450 micron segment. We're going to insert it toward the inferior aspect of the cornea. The cornea has been pre-measured and in the area of the segments the thickness is between 570 microns and 600 microns. So we insert the segment just to get it to uh, stay within the tunnel and then we 
reorient our grasping forceps and just slide the first segment in through the tunnel. We do meet resistance, but it's not uh, it's not overwhelming resistance. As you can see, the eye does torque away from us, making it a bit challenging to insert it. But with persistent effort, we do get the ring in. Now we're at the edge of the ring. We use a Sinsky hook. We use the Sinsky hook to push the ring. We don't really engage the hole within the intact segment. We just use it to push the ring and advance it further into the tunnel. Then we take segment number two and repeat the process. These are specific forceps designed for use with the Intax rings. They have a small hole. After I'm re realizing that it's not time efficient to keep pushing the ring into the tunnel as the eye torques away from me, I use a second instrument to grasp the conjunctiva to fixate the globe. It makes insertion of the ring much easier. Again, we use the Sinsky hook to finish insertion of the ring segment and to push it about a millimeter beyond the incision further down into the channel.
we then close our incision with a single 1009 line suture and we bury the knot. This is the slit lamp photo of the eye on post-op day one.